I'm sure you've dreamed about having a Tesla Cybertruck. How do we know? Built like a dream, the truck isn't what you see daily. Tesla introduced the Cybertruck, a light-duty truck powered entirely by electricity and batteries. The EPA estimates the range of each model at 250 to 500 miles. This is something from a movie. Elon Musk unveiled the all-new Tesla Cybertruck on November 21, 2019. It doesn't look anything like anything else, he claimed during a ceremony reminiscent of a Steve Jobs presentation. And he was unquestionably correct in his assessment. The truck has a post-apocalyptic feel to it, as well as a distinct cyberpunk aesthetic. It seems like it was built to survive laser blasts, food riots, and the badass acting of Nicolas Cage. The Cybertruck is undoubtedly well known to you at this point. You know it is an electric vehicle. However, there are still a lot of things you're probably not aware of. Believe me when I say that these 10 facts about the Tesla Cybertruck will surprise you. Now, it's time to dig in. As with anything unfamiliar and novel, public opinion is always divided, but it's not quite the same when it comes to Tesla's genius. The Cybertruck is outside the box. It's built to be one of the top commercial and consumer trucks on the market soon. The Rear Wheel Steering the new Cybertruck is allegedly slated to come with rear-wheel steering, which should offer it some more agility in tight situations. Musk also said that the Cybertruck will be nearly precisely what was presented. The latter comment is presumably in reaction to many who have argued that the audacious design will never enter production in its original form. The rear-wheel steering function on this vehicle may have been inspired by the GMC Hummer EV's crab walk mode. To go diagonally, the Hummer's rear wheels can pivot up to 10 degrees in the same direction as the front wheels. The rear-wheel steering system allows allows the car to turn far tighter than its size would suggest. It has a nice bed. The Cybertruck bed is 6.5 feet long and built of stainless steel, like the rest of the truck. Unlike other pickups, the bed has no wheel wells. The side panels have storage compartments, and the tailgate has a sliding loading ramp for easy loading. The bed includes 120 and 220 volt outlets, as well as an air compressor. Use the included bed cover to safeguard the bed's contents, which will also make the truck more aerodynamic. It's got special lighting, too. The interior lighting system of the Cybertruck bed allows you to see what you're doing even when you're sleeping at night. Alternatively, if you wish to add this function to another truck, you must purchase and install a kit. One of the post-launch prototypes of the Cybertruck also features an illuminated strip on the front roof, which might be utilized for emergency lighting in the event of a power outage. Solar Rooftop Still on the subject of lighting, the Tesla Cybertruck is equipped with an energy section that allows for the charging of electric vehicles and the reduction of electricity costs for houses by harnessing the power of the sun. For the Cybertruck, Tesla has said that a solar roof will be available for purchase. For the vast majority of people who park outside, whether at home or work, it appears to be a viable technique of making their car work for them while they are away from the office or home. No range fear. One of the challenges of driving a Tesla is the requirement to replenish the battery. Unlike gas stations, Tesla charging stations are significantly more scarce. Tesla had two responses. First, they're introducing a 500-mile stack battery option for the Cybertruck, which is 35% longer than the Model S sedan. The basic pack only lasts 250 miles, so it is essential for long trips. Second, Tesla aims to expand its network of supercharger stations into more rural locations, making longer trips easier to recharge. A digital mirror is required for drivers. Putting it mildly, the Cybertruck is a hulking beast. With the large side panels of the bed, it is difficult to look beyond the bed and into the blind zones. To solve this problem, the Cybertruck is equipped with a digital rearview camera. It is a screen that displays a live feed of what is behind the truck. It can go off-road. For a 16-inch ground, the vehicle incorporates adaptive air expansion. The truck's length is short, making off-roading difficult. Mr. Musk said the truck might withstand the Baja 1000, a tough off-road event. We'll see if it can do that. It was inspired by films. Musk stated that the design of the Cybertruck was heavily influenced by two films, Blade Runner and The Spy Who Loved Me. Musk stated that the Lotus Esprit, which was featured prominently in the Bond film, served as a major source of inspiration for him. It has a significant amount of power under the hood. The Cybertruck will be equipped with either one, two, or three electric motors, depending on how much money you are ready to spend on it. In 6.5 seconds, the single motor vehicle will accelerate to 60 miles per hour and pull a load of up to 7,500 pounds. The double motor truck can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds and tow up to 10,000 pounds of payload. Incredibly, the triple motor version can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and tow up to 14,000 pounds with ease. So the Cybertruck is ideal for transport transporting old mainframe computers, sports cars, cases of 1987 Cabernet Sauvignon, and whatever else its owners want to load into it. The truck allegedly outperformed a Ford F-150 and a Porsche. 
Musk took digs at both Ford and Porsche during his presentation, suggesting that the Cybertruck was superior to both. First, he demonstrated a tug of war between the Cybertruck and a Ford F-150. Even though it was pulling uphill, the Cybertruck comfortably outperforms the F-150. He then displayed a video of the Cybertruck competing in a drag race against a Porsche 911. Despite having a head start, the Cybertruck rapidly overtakes it, proving its ability to accelerate to high speeds. Sundeep Madra, VP of Ford's experimental branch, Ford X, responded by tweeting to Musk, send us a Cybertruck and we will do the apples to apples test for you. Bring it on, Musk just said. So we have the equivalent of my dad could beat up your dad. There are issues with the windows. This is probably unexpected for a car that allegedly beat a Ford F-150 and a Porsche. Musk also boasted about the reinforced and so difficult to breach windows. To establish his argument, he had Holshausen fling steel balls at the glass. Not everything went as planned. It's hard to tell from the pictures, but the balls fractured the windows rather than shattering them. Musk took to Twitter later in the week to explain why the windows were broken. He went on to explain that when Holshausen slammed the door with a sledgehammer, the base of the glass fractured, jeopardizing the integrity of the glass itself. Itself. A video of the truck passing the same test before it was unveiled was then shown, and the truck was declared the winner. Over 250,000 pre-orders as of now, Musk claims that Tesla has gotten more than 250,000 pre-orders for the truck without employing any sponsored advertising or endorsements. Okay, they aren't pre-orders, but they are close enough. Reservations would be a better word. For only $100, Tesla is allowing consumers to pre-order the Cybertruck, with the final price ranging from $39,900 to $49,900 to $69,900, plus an additional $7,000 for the self-driving option. It is important to note that this does not imply that Tesla has sold a large number of trucks. When it comes time to make the final payment, we should expect some of these pre-orders to be cancelled. The number of Cybertrucks ordered by Musk aficionados who don't have the cash to spend $45,000 on a vehicle is impossible to estimate. The police want it. Several police departments around the world are interested in the Tesla Cybertruck. In addition, some of these police departments have attempted to reserve a few units for their fleet before the pre-order window closes on December 1st. Ciudad Valles in San Luis Potosi, Mexico, placed one of the most recent pre-orders for our Tesla Cybertruck, which was delivered in December. In an interview with Ellen Parcial, Mayor Adrian Esper Cardenas revealed that he had placed an order for 15 Tesla Cybertrucks, which will be used primarily by the municipality's police force. According to the municipal mayor, because of the truck's speed and strength, the vehicles will also be used for some heavy-duty tasks such as pulling water pipes and garbage containers from underground storage tanks. When Tesla unveiled this brilliant Cybertruck design in November 2019, many people mistook it for a joke, especially in the first week. The appearance made it appear impossible to have these outstanding qualities. It appears to be fairly colorless, minimal, and has a standard design appearance. Because the vehicle is made up of flat planes, some observers concluded it had a childish and careless appearance. You may be asking if this is inventive or a gimmick. Which is it? Right now, it is difficult to determine whether the Cybertruck represents a revolution or a marketing stunt. Whether it will be a game changer for the trucking business or just a fancy car that appeals mostly to Tesla devotees remains to be seen. One thing is certain, the vehicle is unlike anything we have ever seen before, except in the movies. And we have to give Elon Musk some credit for that. As said at the beginning of the video, it's just a stroke of genius but also dreamy. What are the Cybertruck's other interesting features? Is it the best truck ever? Leave us a comment with your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and check out more awesome ones on the Simply Tech channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.